Hi, welcome to another video. Today's word of the day is leniency, and today's topic which we will be discussing will be how lenient should teachers or tutors be. My name is Darren and I'm the English tutor from EnglishTuition.org. Now I chose leniency to be the topic for today's video because one of my students shared a very interesting story with me. We were having a quick uh, conversation about the marking and uh, for me myself, uh, my normal practice is that I tend to be more strict uh, when it comes to marking because I believe uh, there are more benefits you know, to having strict marking. I want the students to learn the lesson and remember the lesson very well. So if I am very lenient in my marking, then uh, the students would think, oh, it's okay if I just you know, leave out a punctuation here. It's okay if I don't capitalize you know, certain words in my in my sentences, in my writing, and that is generally not a good thing. And when it comes to marking, sometimes teachers have the option, right, to be lenient or strict. And lenient teachers tend to give marks even when there are mistakes, right? For example, half mark here, half mark there, and that's how uh, the conversation arises because the student was arguing, right? He said, oh, my school teachers give marks. You give zero marks, right? Whereas my school teacher actually gave me half mark even though I made a grammatical error. And my response to that was that I've never met a good tutor or coach uh, or teacher who is not strict right, when it comes to teaching. Because uh, look at all the successful sports team, right? We just have to observe around us. The champions always have very tough coaches. Coaches are supposed to be tough, right? Tutors are supposed to be tough. We have the best interest of the students at heart, right? And I think many teachers, including school teachers, right, who are teaching in school and marking in school, they understand that. And many of them actually prefer or choose to mark in a very strict manner. So you, you can see that uh, from uh, primary five, primary six, especially primary five, right? Uh, when they move up from primary four, uh, suddenly they realize that, you know, primary four, oh, I only have three sentences in these questions, one mark each. So if I lose one mark, no big deal, right? But when I go to primary five, now the sentence synthesis component has got five questions and each question is worth two marks, right? So two marks, there are many levels that the teacher can choose to mark. The teacher can choose to, to mark and give half mark, one mark, one and a half mark, and two marks. But from my experience, right, uh, when I review the papers from my students, most teachers in primary school actually choose to give zero marks. There's no such thing as half mark, one mark, one and a half mark. So they give zero marks for the tiniest, tiniest mistake. That means if a student forget to put a simple punctuation, two marks gone, right? If a student forget to capitalize certain words in uh, his or her, her sentences, zero marks, right? And that is the type of marking that is costing the students a lot of marks. So five questions to mark each. If the students, uh, if the student is very careless, then he or she be very well score zero marks for sentence synthesis, and that's not a good thing, right? Uh, but I always explain to the students the the teachers mark in this manner because they are preparing them for PSLE, and they don't want them to repeat the same mistakes when it comes to the official exam, and I hope that uh, they can understand that. And uh, how about leniency, right? Showing leniency when it comes to behavior. I'm sure many teachers or tutors enjoy working with kids, right? So when the kids misbehave, what do we do? We can opt to do nothing, that's still a decision on our part, okay? Or we can take some action, right? In some form of uh, reprimanding, Okay, or maybe you know if it's a more serious situation, then there may be some form of uh, punishments. For me myself, I'm of the opinion that you know we we should always act right whenever we spot uh, some bad behavior or some bad habits because we, we need to catch the student in the act, right? Otherwise, they are not aware of their own behavior. They are not aware that they are distracting other students. They are not aware that uh, what they are doing is incorrect so we have to send a very clear message to them usually i give them warnings first right i don't directly go and punish them straight away right i give them warnings and most of them when we talk to them you no know, we show mutual respect to the one another they typically they will listen right and sometimes they forget <laughs> but that's fine so we just 
uh, you know, I just uh, give them you know a few reminders every now and then and by and large you know given uh, enough time they do change and they, they do adjust right and so for some of my long-standing students we have been working together for a couple of years now I'm very used to them I know their, their style and they are very used to me and they know my style so there's not much conflict not much tension that happens within the, uh, the, the lesson itself and the lessons are a lot more enjoyable right but the key point I, I want to reiterate is that we have to do something right if we see um, a child uh, misbehaving all right I don't believe in pampering them so much to the point that you know we are spoiling them so in that sense leniency is bad right so that leads us to the important question how then can we find a balance between um, having a good relationship and uh, with the student and being relatively strict uh, I think that's a very challenging thing to do because uh, sometimes when we reprimand a child he or she may take offense uh, the teaching becomes difficult because he's going to hate this teacher and he's not going to listen to the feedback and that's not uh, a good thing I think it is important that if we are going to punish a child we should at the same time explain very clearly okay to him or her that we are punishing you because of this very specific behavior we are not punishing you because you're a bad student or you're a bad person right so we target uh, the behavior itself and not the person right so that the child uh, doesn't find the feedback or, or the scolding right to be uh, very offensive i hope you enjoy watching the video if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you dislike the video give it a thumbs down and please try to share this video because it will really help the channel out a lot because uh, we're still trying to grow the channel it's relatively new and thanks again for watching and i'll talk to you soon in the next video bye